so today I'm going to be sharing with you a really fun video for me because I finally finished my sister's cardigan. And if you have not heard, I have been working on her cardigan since about June, I believe I started it. And I think I've only mentioned it a couple times, but I finally finished it and I am so excited and I wanted to share with you guys what it looks like and also share with you the yarn I use, the needles I use, and the pattern I use. So then you guys can maybe make one of your own. So this is what it looks like. I'm not going to get all entirely on the fr in frame, but I will be posting pictures of it on Instagram. And I have my Instagram, my Facebook, all that linked down below for you guys. So if you guys want to follow me on there or if you guys want to see the pictures, you'll be able to see them down below. But this is what it looks like. So it's just a super baggy cardigan. And it is the Daylight Cardigan by All About Ami. So I used her pattern because I really, really wanted just a, you make a basic knitted cardigan. And I really love how hers looks because it's super slouchy and it's just really, really pretty. So I thought it would be really cool to make it. So that's why I chose her pattern. I just thought it looked really stylish and very, very classy. So I went on there and I started it, like I said, back in June. And I did the math because I made it for my sister's birthday, which is October 1st. And I did the math. I had to end up doing like eight rows a day. And there was just no way I was going to get it done. And so I told my sister about it on her birthday. I showed it to her. I felt so bad because I was like, I'm so sorry I did not get it done. I think I had the back in like one of the front pieces. And I was in the middle of doing the second front piece. And she was super sweet because that's who my sister is. She's really sweet and understanding. She's like, no problem. Just finish up whenever. And then I got really distracted because I ended up getting a job. And I started working. And I kind of got in a funk where I wasn't really doing anything. And then I started making stuff again. And then then her cardigan kind of got pushed back and then finally I decided I am going to finish up all my projects in the month of January and that is what I did I finished up all my works in progress in the month of January which I'm super proud of myself about just saying and her cardigan was one of them so um, like I said, I used the Daylight Cardigan Pattern by All About Ami. It's a super easy, beginner-friendly pattern. I would recommend it to anybody who knits. It's super easy to follow. She has the rows lined up for you. You don't even have to measure. You honestly can just make it and just go for it. Like, you don't even have to measure at all, which I love because sometimes I really, really hate measuring. But she has the rows set out for you already. So the only thing I changed was I did not make mine as long because my sister is only about five feet tall she's shorter than I am and I really did not want to go down to her knees so I took out took off a little bit of length I ended up making the size medium for her it is pretty oversized on her I kind of wish I would have made the small for her but she, I think I just kind of thought well she wears she usually makes mediums and everything so that's why I decided to make a medium but I should have made the small for her but it's okay it's just like I said super baggy on her the only thing I'm a little disappointed is the sleeves on it are really, really long on her. So they have to kind of bunch up a little bit because they are really long on her. But there was only one size with the sleeves and I didn't realize it was going to be that long on her. I would have shortened them. So I am a little disappointed about that. But other than that, it looks pretty cute on her. I did not add the pockets because I was getting very, very frustrated with the pockets and my sister said she's like you don't have to put the pockets on there if you don't want to because they kind of look like a pain and they were a huge pain in my butt I actually sewed one of the pockets on slanted and it was all crooked and I just was a little when you've been working on something for a super long time it's like my patience was wearing really really thin with this cardigan so if I would have probably finished it a lot sooner I would have had more patience to make the pockets but I didn't so there's no pockets on it so yeah I made the pockets they're just not on it but it still turned out really cute and so for and I just want to say one more thing I absolutely love the color of the yarn that I chose I mean I know I'm kind of bragging about myself here but I wanted to find a yarn that was not too neutral because my sister is not a neutral 
colored person. She loves color. I wanted to make something pretty classy where she wasn't going to be like, oh, it's trendy. I don't really like that color anymore. I wanted something that would stay in her closet and be a staple in it, not one that she would be like, eh, I don't really like it. I liked it three years ago type thing. So that's why I cho chose more of a neutral color, even though she's not very, she's not really a neutral color person. But I wanted to find a unique color that was a little bit different. So it is a really pretty brownish gray taupey color. So I feel like she could wear it with black, gray, well, I think she could wear it with black or brown. I don't really think she could pair it with gray just because it already has a strong gray tone to it. But the yarn I used is the Caron Baby Cakes yarn. This I bought last summer, so it was for a limited time only, so they don't sell it anymore. But if you can find it, it is in the shade Gray Owl, and I really do like how it turned out. And it does, it came with 560 yards. I liked it because it was in a cake, and I just love cakes because they're so easy to work with. You don't have to roll it in a ball or anything. It's just ready to go. And so I used two of the cakes let me this is the project bag I use so I used two of the cakes and then I had I started this is the third one which I really did not use that much of and then I had this is what's left over the second one I just knew I was gonna have to change yarn and I didn't want to have to do that so I just started the third one which is quite a bit I have about 400 yards here so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make with it next but I do like the yarn a lot the yarn was really easy to work with it's definitely probably one of my more favorite yarns that I've found that are the limited edition yarns at Michaels this is definitely one of them I've liked a lot more than the other ones and then I did use which I don't have oh I do have in here um, for a lot of it I used my clover interchangeable circular needle set I used a lot for the back piece and the um, edging and then for the front pieces and the sleeves I decided to break out some um, straight needles just for something different so I used my clover straight needles and these are the eight I used size eight because I had to go down a needle size because my gauge was off so I had to go down a needle size to match the gauge so that's why I used this size smaller. But yeah, so I use these needles. I love the clover needles. They're awesome. I didn't have a problem with these at all. And like I said, I used some straight ones just to kind of add a little bit of variety in my life because I wanted to kind of change a little bit to keep me more interested in it. But yeah, I really do love how it turns out, and most importantly, she loves it, so I am really happy about that. But like I said, I just took off some of the length, and then I did not add the pockets on there. But I really do love the pattern. I love how it turned out. So I definitely highly, highly, highly recommend this pattern, and I will link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. It's a really, really cute cardigan pattern, and I do really, really love it. But anyway guys, I just thought I'd pop on here and share it with you guys so then you guys can see something that I made and a pattern that I love and what yarn and everything I used for it. But anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day and let me know down in the comments below, have you made any of the All About Ami patterns? If so, which one have you made? And are you going to make this cardigan? because I definitely think you guys should check them out and she has crocheted cardigans too if you're not a knitter and they're also super cute. Anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video.